guys, this is Brian here coming at you again with another video. Uh, no funny intro, no, none of that, unfortunately. Today's gonna be a bit more of a serious topic. What you see right now is nothing really special. I was just playing a game, uh, a game of domination with some friends yesterday, and I did pretty decent, decent enough to get a mode, but we still lose, which is kind of unfortunate, but. Uh, okay, under the meat and potatoes of this topic. Um, uh, yesterday on Twitter, if you were around, up around 4 o'clock a.m., I bet none of you were, but, uh, I was, I was a bit, I was a bit, uh, angry. No reason why, just, I was angry at the, the term normal and how people use it in such a negative connotation that it just pisses me off. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Okay. So, in, um, if you know me, uh, if you get to know me, uh, I'm a bit of an oddball. I'm a bit of, I'm a bit eccentric, if you will. People like to call me out on that, which I'm fine with. You know, if you have something to say to me, speak, say it to my face, speak your mind. All right, I have no problem with that. The problem is where they get their basis for their argument for where they call me in, like an oddball or weird. That is what pisses me off. I embrace being weird. I embrace my oddness because that makes me an individual. That makes me, me. Alright? What do people judge normal? What do people judge as normal? Quotes. Normal. Unquote. Why? What? S the society? Society is full of absolute morons. 90% of society is full of idiots. People are just... People put like Kim Kardashian, the Jersey Shore people, Lady Gaga, they put them at stardom when people that are doctors, lawyers, people that are absolutely deserving of praise and merit are looked over or forgotten. They are, they are looked over for people that do nothing for society, that contribute nothing for the greater good, nothing for the benefit of people around them, people listening to them. All right, so the society, the ones that bring people that have nothing to contribute, are gonna judge me for being someone a bit different. No, no, your your argument is flawed right there. And why do we all have to conform to one to a certain way to speak, certain topics to speak to? That's what's holding us back. We should be able to talk about anything we want. We're freedom of speech. People have opinions, yes, but it's f all freedom of speech. I should be able to say without being I should be able to say something without being judged. You guys or not you guys in general, but just people are quick to just assume things about me as soon as I talk about something a bit different. I, I was like I want to switch the topic. They look at me as, oh, oh, we gotta ostracize him now. Not worth it. He's gonna be an outcast now. Whatever happened to individualism? Alright? I wanna speak certain things that other people don't wanna speak about. What's wrong with that? Apparently, people find everything wrong with that. It's very annoying to them. We are taught from a young age to be unique, to be a star, okay? Whatever happened to that? Once society gets its grasp on you, you change that. You don't want to be unique anymore. You're going to conform. You're going to conform into what society wants you to be. You're going to be a slave. You're going to be mindless, a drone. You're going to be a drone to society. It's the biggest hypocrisy that society has on people is that they want you to be unique, but then they change you. They want you to be an individual, but then they morph you into a drone, into something that you don't want to be. Sometimes you don't want to be it, but some people can't help it. What I really want to get at now is, because the video is about to end soon, is we have to embrace our differences just as much as we embrace our similarities. Alright? People are different. People are unique. That makes us all w wonderful people. Alright? I will succeed no matter what happens. Okay? I will succeed. I will be up, up, and away. They're going to judge me anyway. So I don't care, alright? Whatever. They will judge me for being me. And I don't want to see that. Brian BKO, one shot you die 55. I'm out. Thanks for listening, guys.